Hey, it's Linda with No More Math, and I wanted to talk to you about the sample pack that you've just downloaded. And I want to go through each one of the components. In the smart slides, there are lots of different components. Here's a view of a few of them. Um, first, there's a drag and drop. You click on the drag and drop link and what it will do is make a copy of the drag and drop for you. You can then take that slide and put it in classroom or you can use it as whole group. Um, the Google Form Teacher Time, remember that's one of the ways that you get live data. And so um, if I select my teacher and my block and I put my name, then what happens is this is a branched Google Form, which means that if a student clicks the wrong answer after looking at the question or completing the question, they hit the next and the Google Form immediately tells them that they've missed the question and they need to try again. But before you try again, go ahead and watch how this um, problem is solved. And once they watch the video, they click next and then they have a completely clean problem. So remember that this is a branched Google Form. Every one of the teacher time problems is a branched Google Form. If they click the correct answer, which in this case I think is B, they're going to click Next. And I say, good job. I'm telling them that they've got the problem right. But I'm also giving them the option to watch the video anyway. Because sometimes they just want to make sure that they've chosen the correct answer. So then those students would watch the um, video. So it gives them an option of watching it or not. Then there's the think, pair, share. Now this is the part, this is the collaboration part of the smart slides. And um, what I do is I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of the think, pair, share slide for you to be able to see. And so the slide is one of the ways that we loop in the smart slides. So the topic of the day is not mapping. That was yesterday's topic. And I ask my students to complete a multiple choice question. And then I ask them to do a constructed response question, but with a partner. So this is one of those ways where they can actually communicate with their table mate or um, elbow partner or classmate. And then um, we also have the self-assessment that you make, you click on this and it makes a copy for your students. And then we have the vocabulary. Vocabulary is super important in our class and the flippity link allows my students or our students to um, get, look at the vocabulary words and do an activity with them every day. So I challenge my students every day to click on the flippity link and do at least one activity. So they can do flashcards or, and you can turn over the flashcards, they can have them in a list um, in, or they can practice the, writing the definition, they can do matching. It also makes a quick little word ball with all of those terms and there's a lot of things that you can do with this. You can print it, you can um, snag it and use it in your lessons and also there's this more um, tab over here and it lets you do bingo crossword hangman matching word search and word scramble so there's lots of things that you can do with the flippity link so I make sure that my students use them use the vocabulary link um, every day and then um, the smart slides have have so adjusted my classroom it does not replace the direct instructional part of my class so the way that I handle the teaching part of my class is I have teacher time examples and these examples I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy these examples actually um, are what I'm actually going to teach for the day. So this topic for the day would be Pythagorean Theorem. And I want you to notice that I have the slides so that they're easily displayed on through your projector in your classroom. You can annotate on these slides and work them out for your students. But also remember with the purchase of Smart Slides, you get a document that has all of these printed out. You can print all these out for your students to follow along. So in my classroom, the direct instruction Chromebooks are closed. My students have their worked out problems. And the reason that I give them this option is because I don't want to take the time in the direct instruction for my students to have to draw the figure or the graph or the picture. So I choose to um, give them the option. and 
um, I also have um, a PDF of these problems worked out for each of the lessons. So I just real quickly wanted to show you the sample pack. I also want to let you know that with each um, of these components, there's so many more components in the smart slides, but um, here's a few of them. And if you guys have questions, um, email Linda at nomoremath.com and I'll be glad to answer your questions or um, with the with the sample pack or with any component or if you want to purchase and you need more information just let me know.